Scotty. Who's Scotty? So today we're looking at something a little bit different, an electric scooter. Well, more specifically, two electric scooters. Now these are made by a company based in America called Unagi. What, Unagi? And I must say, these are some of the most beautiful looking electric scooters I've ever seen. Now let's address the elephant in the room straight away. These are no Carbo Wolf. This is not a massive, big 100 kilometer range or 80 mile range electric scooter that's gonna take you at 50, 60, 70 kilometers per hour. This is a city commuter scooter. Now first things first, a massive thank you to Padme, an e-store based here in Australia. They sent me the E350 here to review and test out. I'll link their store down below and I'll also talk about that in the video a little bit later on. We've also got our hands on the E500. Now the core difference between these two scooters is this is a single motor and the E500 is a dual motor. Both scooters have a nine amp hour battery made up of Sony cells, and the weight between the two is actually very negligible. Negligible? Negligible. This is about 11.8 kilos. This is coming in just on 12 kilos. Now the build quality on these scooters is where it really sets itself apart from other commuter scooters. The stem on the scooter is a Japanese quality carbon fiber. It's the same carbon fiber that you see in some of the SpaceX rockets. And the deck has been machined out of one single piece of aluminum, or aluminum for our American friends, and it has an inlaid silicon mat for grip. The tires are a puncher-proof, airless, made-in-house tire. And I must say, I've ridden a lot of airless tires or honeycomb airless tires on electric skateboards, and these ride completely different. I actually wonder if there is a possible crossover for this type of tire for an electric skateboard because this does not feel like any airless tire I have ridden before. Really nice grip and it actually adds suspension to the ride. Now let's move on to the control center of the scooter, the handlebars. Now again, a beautiful piece of machinery. The handlebars are made out of a single piece of magnesium alloy with a really nice, really easy to read heads up display. Depending on which model you get, the E350 or the E500, you can double tap the center button to toggle between two wheel drive or one wheel drive mode. A single tap on the center button will activate the headlight. On the left hand side of the handlebar, you have a silky smooth electronic brake. On the E500, that is front and rear braking. On the E350, it is a rear brake, but you also have a passive or a foot brake you can use for additional control. The last two things we're gonna talk about is its foldable design and its motor. The one press stainless hinge design on the scooter makes it a dream to quickly fold down and lift up. You don't need to worry about a lock at the end of the handlebar. Once you've folded it, it locks into position and you can pick it up with one hand and carry it into the cafe or your place of work or home or whatever you need to do. It's really simple and it's so nice to be able to do it just with one hand. Now, of course, the most important thing, or what I believe the most important thing, the motors on these scooters. In the E350, you have one 350 watt in the rear of the scooter. That can max out at 700 watts. And in the E500, you have dual 250 watt motors. So one in the front, one in the rear, and they can max out or instant max out at 1000 watts, giving really quite nice, fast acceleration but also really assists on those steeper hills. Quick hill climb shootout, just to show you the difference in power between the E350 uh, with its single motor and the E500 with its dual motor. We've got Danny on the E500. We're both fully charged, we're both in top speed mode. And I'll show you the acceleration difference. Now you can see the hill there, it's not very steep. It's maybe 12%. Here we go, full acceleration. Go for it, Danny. Oh, and you can see he is <laughs> pulling away. I may not actually make it. I'm gonna have to kick to get up. But this is exactly what I'm saying, where this is perfect if you live in a flat area. Whereas you can see Danny is having no issues with the dual motors going up there. Whereas I am kicking. Woo. Both scooters have a max speed of 25 kilometers per hour, but can be unlocked to a, a hyper mode or a higher speed. All you need to do is hold the brake and the accelerator down at the same time and then push the center button 10 times until you hear two beeps. That will then unlock it and allow you to go, I believe, reports vary, we will test it out, but it lets you go between 30 and 35 kilometers per hour. But of course, by unlocking that, you could 
breach some local laws as here the max speed is 25 so I suggest you only do that on private property. All in all these are some beautiful scooters that really impress. Uh, the unboxing experience also matches the beauty of these scooters. The first thing you notice when you open the Yonagi box in both models is a quick start guide with a QR code. Now when I first opened the E500 I discarded that when I opened the E350, I thought, let's take a look and see what they actually rate as being important. I can tell you right now, the quick start guide on this scooter is actually really good. I think there's three or four really quick, simple tips to build the scooter and to get started. And honestly, the very first tip helped me a lot and it makes a big difference when attaching your handlebars to the scooter. So make sure you check that out. But to summarize guys, as I said, this is a beautifully made scooter. Uh, lots of people refer to it as the Tesla of scooters or the Apple of scooters. It's just beautifully made. Everything's well thought out. Every single part they've used has a purpose. It wasn't just picked off a shelf. A lot of the stuff is made in house and it's just, a, you can really see the attention to detail in the way it handles. So who are these scooters for? Well, the E350 single motor is perfect for that last mile commuter, somebody who's probably medium weight, definitely under 100 kilos, that doesn't have many hills, that wants to get pretty good range. You know, when I say pretty good range, let's say between 15 to 25 kilometers. The funny thing with the single motor is you actually get better range because you're powering one less motor off that nine amp hour battery and it is a tiny, tiny bit lighter. The E500 on the other hand will definitely suit someone closer to that 100 kilo mark, uh, but also may have more hills in their town. It's nice that you can toggle through two wheel and one wheel drive whilst moving. My one little gripe with the scooter, and honestly I was surprised when I discovered this one because everything else is just so well thought out, and that is the horn. Uh, it, it just doesn't really get anyone's attention. It's very quiet. The E351 is actually quieter than the E500. I mean, it could do its job, but I think it could have been louder, or I would have gone with just some sort of passive bell design. So guys, let's end the video there. Don't forget, if you are living in Australia and you want to get some scooters or e-bikes or anything, if you're interested in getting one of these Unagi E350s or E500s, check out Padme or Padmai. Again, I'm not sure of the pronunciation. Their link and any discounts they've given me will be in the description. If you're anywhere else in the world, just chuck Unagi scooter into Google and you'll be able to find plenty of resellers all around the world globally. These are a very popular scooter and I know they're constantly innovating. They have the Model 11 coming out very soon and it's looking to be a pretty sharp, very tech packed scooter. So guys, until the next video, don't forget to skate safe, scoot safe, wear a helmet and we'll see you on the next video. Yo! Scotty. Who's Scotty?